Hey, wonderful community. I've got some updates to cover today, and I want to show you the foundations I built for a whole new mechanic you haven't seen yet. First off, I made some improvements to current features in the game. Now when you draw fields, they start off empty by default, giving you a clean canvas to cultivate your virtual farm. Using the pop-up window from a previous update, you can then choose the crop type. Each crop type offering different resources and benefits. Potatoes could give you lots of food, sheep could give you wool, or cows could even give you hamburgers. The resource bar on top also got a makeover. I started a vote on Discord to see what you all think of as the best solution. And by adding the total population to the labor indicator, hopefully it's a bit less confusing when you have 2.5 free people in your town. Because some buildings like fields can be of variable sizes, the resource requirements can also be variable. And this can result in a field requiring 1.6 units of labor, for example, leaving you with a decimal number of free labor, if that makes sense. And to bridge the gap between areas, quite literally, I've added bridges to the game to let you reach new places. The new feature that's making its debut is the political system. Now you can dive into the political landscape with a new pop-up window, giving you a sneak peek into the politics panel for every player that is present in the game. The content of these menus will still need to be filled with statistics and relevant information of that player, but it's already the foundation for a whole new level of interaction in the game. Besides that, I also fixed some funky issues that my supporters showed me on their demo version. Thanks for that. And as always, your feedback is invaluable to me. So feel free to share your thoughts on Discord. Whether you're a seasoned city planner or a UI enthusiast, your insights make this game and its community even better. Make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop on all the progress and check out the links in the description for more ways to stay up to date. Until next time.